Elasticsearch is open source again, at least according to a blog post released by Elastic on August 29th. In that post, it states that the AGPL is going to be added to both Elasticsearch and Kibana over the coming weeks. In my opinion, this is a pretty big deal, as it potentially signals the end of companies moving away from open source. If you're unaware, Elasticsearch and Kibana used to be open source up until 2021, when they decided to move away from their original Apache 2.0 license to a dual license setup of the SSLP and the Elastic License V2, both of which are not recognized as free software by the open source initiative. So why did Elastic move to a non-free license in the first place? Well, in a blog post released by Elastic at the time, they claimed it was due to bad business practices by AWS and their Amazon Elasticsearch service. And the license change was designed to prevent companies from taking both Elasticsearch and Kibana products and providing them directly as a service without collaborating with Elastic. Of course, Amazon and AWS were in their right to do this, as the code was licensed with the permissive open source Apache 2.0 license, which was a license that Elastic had consciously chosen to use but they decided to do a rug pull and change it. If this all sounds familiar to you, then that's because Elastic isn't the only company that has done this with its products, with other notable cases being MongoDB, HashiCorp, and one of the biggest ones recently being Redis Labs with Redis as well as that horrible logo change. What makes this such big news is that Elastic was one of the earlier companies to adopt a source available business license, and were arguably one of the trendsetters of the current trend of companies being less open source friendly, despite the products being built on the back of many, many open source contributors. So with Elastic moving back to open source, it signals that this trend may be coming to an end, and we may see some of our favorite tooling coming back to being open source. In fact, Elastic is actually going a step further by adopting the AGPL, which is a much more copyleft license than the Apache 2.0 it was originally licensed with. All of this does beg the question of why. Why is Elastic re-embracing open source? In the blog post, they state that their original change, whilst painful, ended up working, as it caused Amazon to be fully invested in their fork and to resolve any market confusion. But to me, this gives real mission accomplished vibes, especially as they wrote some preempted arguments to any comments that trolls might give. Hmm. Whilst I'm excited about this change, the stock market doesn't seem to be, as the company's stock has dropped by 25% in the after hours trading. Ouch. A bad day to be an elastic holder. However, a great day to be an open source enthusiast. Taking a look at the stock price overall, if we zoom out, we can see that the value hasn't really grown over the last few years, besides the initial bump from going closed source in the first place, which I'm sure is why other companies may have thought it would be a good idea as well. Either way, this is huge news, and as I said before, it may signal a shift in the closed source trend we've seen over the recent years. If that's the case, then I'm really excited for the future, and I'm letting myself have a little bit of hope that we may one day see Redis return to its former glory.